Hello everyone and welcome back once again to another control video. Alright, so in the last video we just cleansed this control point right here. I believe this is the... yeah, this is the control point. Um, it had that thing in it that gave us our newfound power telekinesis. I and mean, then we're out to head for the hotline. So we go we have to go through these doors over here. Alright. That's right, we were able to get through here now. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Oh, this is the mail room. Oh, shoot. Takes care of. Oh god, there's another one. Alright, that takes care of those guys. Um, I don't see any door that might lead to the hotline. through there with something like this. Nope. Um, so I don't know where exactly we can go. It's not through there. Alright, so... We're gonna have to try another way. That was getting a bit annoying. Alright. Are, are there more speakers somewhere else? Alright. Um. That takes care of that. Alright, so what's this? National news sites... National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but complaining that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns make the public much less likely to blank. So other AWE behind us So another AWE behind us and the public is none the wiser. Well done everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring blank, blank, and blank for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. Tomasi out. Hmm. Alright, so it seems like these AWEs, whatever they are, they're, the Bureau has been trying to... Um, Bureau has been trying to hide it from the public. Uh, what's in here? Just some house memory. Alright. 
so we gotta go over there. Access to this room. Um, this stuff does oh it it hurts it hurts a lot how how the hell am i supposed to get past there i really don't know how to get past there. Um, yeah, so we're probably gonna have to come back. Oh, wait, there's stuff here. Marshall lockdown distinctions. Pay attention, Alberto. This is the last time I'm explaining this. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all of the sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. They can only be lifted via the directional override in maintenance once the director is satisfied that the situation is under control. External lockdowns are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out of the whole building. It's only triggered by a code red containment breach based on some complicated system that security and research slap together. It can only be lifted once A. The threat has been neutralized and B. A high clearance individual gives the system an all clear. This process is not the same as the directional override, so stop saying so in documentation. I know it's confusing as hell. I've told Darling a hundred times to change it, but they're adamant and, and stays. it stays the way it is. Honestly, I don't think they even know how to change it at this point. Let's just make sure our staff understand how this mess all works, okay? Marshall. Alright, so we know something happened here because the building, when we came into the building, was already in lockdown. Okay. Okay, 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 you, oh, pressing wrong button. Okay, I'm dead. <sighs> Locked. Maybe there's a key nearby. All right. Um. So I was going to go back to the room that we were originally and that we died in. But I just realized this is the mail room that we have to go through. 
So, um, it's locked, but fortunately for us, it looks like there's a card, a uh, key card right here. This must open the door. Ooh. That guy did not have a nice day today. What just happened? They can fly now. Great. Oh boy. Oh, that's not what I wanted to grab. Okay. All right. Um. Let's grab that. Looks like he can't move when he's charging up that. Or maybe he can. Because he just wants to play unfair. Oh great, what are you guys doing here? Tomasi, we uh, saw that name before, didn't we? Can't remember exactly where we saw it. But we definitely saw it. Can I grab those? Nope. Get some more shots off on him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, and it looks like it ran away. I have a feeling he'll be back. Yeah, I have a feeling he'll be back too. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. So where you went? Or are we going up here? Alright, um, let's go up... Yeah, up here where it says hotline center. Um, hotline chamber is over here. Yeah, this is the room that he went into. But this is the hotline, isn't it? All right, take this down. Nope. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an alternate item would show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? All 
Alright, Tomasi was did not sound like a Alberto Tomasi, pretty, head of a pretty good fellow. Um Alberto Tomasi. Interesting. Palms. The hiss got him. Right, what's this? Butte summary. A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butte, while Bureau and agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Event response. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at blank blank, which had been connected to a total of blank disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, the agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house, blank days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the Butte Holmes closet disappeared during this incident. That's interesting. Right, so it looks like the, the hotline, hotline can't be far now. Looks like the hotline's through here. Alright, there's a box of stuff over here. A launch efficiency. Hey, looks like we are found ourselves inside the hotline chamber. Sounds like it's still ringing. Hotline security log. So it looks like, for the most part, the only ones who's ever used the hotline was Bill Everett, a custodian, and Director Trench. But at the very end, Carl Bishop. Another custodian also used it. Interesting. We still don't have any sort of. Um, we still have. We still don't have any sort of um, idea of what the hotline is. Besides that, it's a phone, and it's constantly ringing. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream logic. The light switch cord. The door marked with the black pyramid. Alright, I think that's all he had to say. Yeah, and he disappeared. I I, I don't know. Well, that is. Wow. Have we been here before? Alright, so no. you just had to keep pressing or pulling that light switch cord. I've hated a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. Locked. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. We don't have our gun. Hello. Anyone here? Doesn't look like anyone's in here. Actually, hang on a second. Ringing this bell opens up those doors. So let's get it back to the first door over here. Or does it open up the? Yeah, it does open up the doors. Alright, well that's just a normal bedroom. I think they're all going to be normal bedrooms, but might as well check, right? There might be something inside the rooms. Nope, looks identical to the last room. Well, there's only one room left, so might as well check it, right? Ah, there's keys in this room. The key has a black pyramid on it. Maybe that can actually open up the locked door we found down here. 
Yeah, there was a locked door down here. There was this one. It's that light switch cord again. Um. Okay. Okay then. What's that? Can I shoot it? The hotline will allow you to act contact act, contact extra dimensional entities. Bit of a drop up there. Okay, okay, that's not that is not a good thing. How do I use the hotline? Can can you explain to me how to use this hotline? not telling me how to actually use the hotline or do I just have to get over there I really have I have no idea what I'm supposed to do but we'll try doing this run 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 Jesse and then we'll try doing this okay, so it looks like all I have to do is get to the hotline which is for some reason over there let's drop down here we'll get up here <laughs> Alright, um, and press F. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Yes, that's a very good idea. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Alright, now we gotta go back to Emily Pope, I believe was her full name. Um, what's this? Trench Bureau funding. To all executive staff, I know there is some concern regarding our operations exceeding the annual budget. 
So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not extra, ex, exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the U.S. Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us as if we weren't even there. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Regards, Zachariah Trench, Director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Alrighty then. We'll read some of this stuff probably a little bit later. Isn't this Trench's office? Yeah, because that's the bloodstain from when he shot himself. Interesting. How it all kind of loops together. That noise is definitely giving me a headache. Alright, where's... Emily Trench? We gotta go to the executive board room. Uh, there's more of them. This lead, that leads to the director's office, I believe. No, that's the bath. But the director's office is over here. Right? Pretty sure. And the director's office is down this way and around the hall, then that way, so. Gotta go to the executive affairs, I believe. That's where Emily Pope would be. Maybe, or probably the central executive boardroom is straight ahead. Alright, yeah. This is where Emily is. I just have to find her. Where is Emily hanging out? But we have a level 1 key card now, so we can actually. That's not level 1. Why did I think that was level 1? Anyways, oh, she's in the boardroom. That's right, up here. Let's go in here and we'll talk to Jesse, Emily. Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? Sorry. You made it. You need to calm down. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If... You agree, that is. L we could find out something that would help us. Tests? 
I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. I don't know what that was. Um, Alright, so we gotta go search for a way into the maintenance sector. However, before I do that, I got another one. I think it was the energy boost mod. Collectibles. We got the hotline. So. Now we can actually see some stuff. Alright, so yeah, that's gonna be um, show us some cinematics that we've seen already, I believe. Right, anyways, on that note, that's gonna have to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. It definitely helps me out a ton. If you like the video, don't forget to also leave it a like. And if you have any suggestions of any other video games that you would like to see on this channel or any other type of content you would like to see on this channel, don't forget to leave those suggestions down in the comment section below and I will be sure to read most of them. Alright, and without further ado, I don't know why I said that. As always, I'll see you in the next video.